Morsi from Infinite Series. And this is Matt from Space Time. <laughs> hey, Vanessa. Hey, mate. First question for you. What walks on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, three legs in the evening, and no legs at night? I think I've heard this. I, th I think the... Uh, back in the day, the uh, like gender insensitive mm -hmm. answer was mm -hmm. man. Yes, it's like a human because you like crawl and then you walk and then there's a cane and then you die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a classic riddle, uh, and it's from ancient Greece. Yeah. I find it really interesting the first recorded instance we have of this riddle is from the second century. Thousands of years later we now ask these types of questions in job interviews. Mm. Today we're getting job ready. So no, this is like a job interview. <laughs> yeah, I want you to be job ready. There was this one guy called William Shockley Jr who in the 50s and 60s uh, developed a transistor and was trying to patent it and he's seen as one of the first people to kind of start Silicon Valley. Uh, and he asked people brain teasers and riddles and things in job interviews. What am I interviewing this for This is here? the Brain Crab graduation edition. This is terrifying all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. How many golf balls can fit in a school bus? Wait, let me translate that for you. Okay. How many cricket balls <laughs> can you fit inside a Holden Commodore ute? A what? That's true. Like maybe several thousand? So how many square feet is a school bus? It's like... I'm trying to count them one by one. It's like that jelly bean game, except it's in my head. What, probably 70 feet long and like... How many ten meters feet is by that? 10 feet by 10 feet. Like maybe 30 across and maybe... Okay. Three meters tall. Two. Is that too tall? That's too tall. Two. Two, because you can just barely... You're going to yeah. hit your head, right? Yeah. Maybe you'd, you'd fit 20 up, which gives you 600. What's the diameter of a golf ball? I think more like several thousand, yeah. In the cab yeah. of a Holden Commodore U. I think so. Okay. Yeah. So that means you could fit 10 million... Seems like too many. ...golf balls. That does seem like too many. I was thinking more like a couple of hundred thousand. Well, I think what I'm interested in is just the way that you have reached this conclusion, right? Like, it doesn't really matter how many you can fit in a ute unless you're trying to like break a world it comes, record It comes up sometimes like but not that often. Not very often. It's not something that you need to know on a daily basis. Uh, but what I'm interested in is how you're working it up. So kind of the same way we do almost all of astronomy is we just guess. Next question for you. Okay. Why are manhole covers round? I want to be woke here but when you say <laughs> woman hole covers <laughs> it doesn't have the same ring to it. Because uh, People are roughly circular in that dimension. Mm -hmm, but they could also be square and we could still fit through them. I think there's some advantages. One is that it doesn't matter which way you put it in, it just goes in. I think that's the answer. Yeah, but if they were square, then there would be like these additional corner parts mm -hmm. where your body would not go through. Mm -hmm. And then it would just be like more having to take it, more space taken out of the ground. You want to mm -hmm. minimize this is the mathematician perspective. Mm, mm -hmm. You want to minimize the amount of space you have to take out of the ground, and a circle is kind of the closest approximation. An oval would probably be better, but mm -hmm. to a human body mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from that dimension. Mm -hmm. But it's a brain teaser, so that's probably not the right answer. It's the only shape that you could have in a road, like in a, on a plane, that wouldn't fall through itself. Oh. Like for, I suppose, the safety of the person walking up a ladder, if this is above them or for the safety of a pedestrian walking along the street. If you had a square, you could Yeah, then you could turn it. it and you could, yeah. How many times a day does a clock's hands overlap? Oh. 12, 11? Probably, is it 23? It's really close. Yeah, 24? No, mm, not quite. 23? Not quite. But you're on the right track. Is it 22? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, because it goes, because it's 11 every 12, and therefore it's 22 every 24. Well, it's almost once an hour, except from 10.55 right. to 12 o'clock, they don't overlap. Right. So you because, kind of miss the 11th Because hour. it overlaps at, at, at 1.05, mm -hmm. and then 2.10, and mm -hmm. then 3.15, mm -hmm. and so, so it's pushing forward. And so you lose one hour every 12. Yeah. Uh, final question for you. How much should someone charge to wash all of the windows in New York City? I mean, it would probably take their entire life to do that. 
I would guess. I w- yeah. If you worked like 40 hours a week, mm-hmm. I don't think you could wash all the windows in your lifetime. Mm-hmm. Would be my guess. I would just say all the money. Uh, all of the money. <laughs> yeah, all of the money. <laughs> <laughs> are you getting paid after completion of the task or are you getting paid per window? I would say per window. But this sounds like, you know, a bunch of billions, I guess. Really, the answer is how much anyone wants to charge to wash all the windows in New York City. It's really up to you to work out how much your time is worth. and Yeah, how much is my life worth? How much your <laughs> life is worth. Set your price. Well, I didn't really need a job at Silicon Valley anyway. <laughs> I feel like, you know. <laughs> you can have stereotypical or typical measures of intelligence, like you could do an IQ test or you could have your GPA yeah. or whatever yeah. it may be, except these questions kind of take bits of that, take things that you know, but apply them to a novel problem. Yeah. So it probably makes you more employable in that sense. <laughs> You're doing pretty well. <laughs> Thank you, Kelsey, for being on BrainCraft. Thank you, Vanessa, for having we, me. We respect and appreciate your time. <laughs> Thank you, Matt, for being on BrainCraft. Thank you, Vanessa. <laughs> That's the second time you've been on BrainCraft. Yep, and both were really fun. <laughs> Please have just. me back. All the time. We'll Alexa, out. how many golf balls can you fit in a school bus? <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't know. <laughs>